from JBS Studios in Greater New York. This is the JBS News Update with Tisha Bader. I'm Tisha Bader with the JBS News Update for Tuesday, November the 23rd, 2021. Israel's Defense Minister Benny Gantz flew to Morocco this evening. Gantz spoke to the press before boarding his El Al plane to Rabat, saying now embarking on an important and historic visit to Morocco, the first formal visit of an Israeli defense minister to the country. Gantz said we will sign cooperation agreements and continue to strengthen ties between the countries. The defense minister is set to meet with and presumably sign those agreements with his Moroccan counterpart, as well as the country's foreign minister and chief of staff. Israel's President Isaac Herzog, meanwhile, continues his official visit to Great Britain, meeting today with Prime Minister Boris Johnson to discuss, he said, deepening our strategic collaboration, touching on a number of issues, including the threat from Iran. Herzog made a particular point to thank Johnson for, he said, your resolution on prescribing Hamas. This, he said, is a very important message to terror organizations and global radicals trying to undermine the situation in the Middle East. Referring there to the UK this week, designating all of Hamas, its military and political wing, a terrorist group. In meeting yesterday with UK Foreign Secretary Liz Truss, Herzog referred to the deadly terror attack in Jerusalem that took place on Sunday carried out by a member of Hamas's so-called political arm. He said yesterday's terror attack in Jerusalem by a member of Hamas's political wing underscores the importance of the UK's decision. Herzog also met with leaders of Britain's Jewish community and paid tribute to its late chief rabbi, Jonathan Sachs, posthumously awarding his Genesis Prize Lifetime Achievement Award to his widow, Lady Elaine calling Sachs a giant of the Jewish spirit. PitchBook released its annual ranking of which universities and colleges around the world produce the most entrepreneurs. Stanford, UC Berkeley, Harvard, and MIT topped the list, but not too far behind was Tel Aviv University in eighth place. The Times of Israel cited Dean of the Collar School of Management and Chief Entrepreneurship and Innovation Officer at the school, Professor Moshe Zviran, saying our place among the world's leading institutions reflects the achievements of our alumni and their contribution to the establishment and accelerated growth of many companies. Three other Israeli universities also made the top 50 list. The Technion came in 12th place, Hebrew University in 31st, and Ben-Gurion in 44th. Well, the International Emmy Awards were given out last night in New York City, saluting the best in television from around the world, and best drama series went to the Israeli series Tehran, which tells of an Israeli Mossad agent undercover in the Iranian capital. Co-producer Donna Eden, in her acceptance speech, though stressed that Tehran is not only an espionage series, it's also about understanding the human behind your enemy. And she mentioned that the cast and crew includes Israelis and Iranians, saying we found out that we have a lot in common. I think it gives a hope for the future, she said, and I hope that we can walk together, the Iranians and the Israelis, in Jerusalem and in Tehran, as friends and not as enemies. Taking a look now at our programming for tonight on JBS for Tuesday, November the 23rd at 7 o'clock, Jonathan Sarna gives a historical perspective on anti-Semitism in America. At 8, a diverse panel of Jewish experts address the ongoing scourge of anti-Semitism and present possible solutions in a program of the ADL's Never Is Now Summit. At 9, part 2 of a discussion on Jewish justices of the Supreme Court, with Mark Golub speaking with Rabbi David Dalin on L'Chaim. At 10, it's the program George Washington's Letter to the Jews of Rhode Island, affirming the principle of religious tolerance. And coming up next, it's the ILTV's Insider. And that's the JBS News Update for Tuesday, November the 23rd, 2021. I'm Tisha Bader. Stay healthy, stay well. <laughs>